All right, y'all. I'm back. So, uh, getting around to installing the uh, shop brackets uh, relocation. So, I got airbags on there. I installed a while, a couple years back. I'm just now getting around to put my my shocks on. So, uh, let me show you what I've been doing. I bought this uh, AccuWear E-Level kit. I got this uh, level sensor. So, I'm going to have to install that as well. But what I've done is uh, I bought these shocks right here. Now, this is not what it looked like. Uh, these are for a E250 Ford van. And it had a sleeve on here. I had a sleeve on here right here that I cut off. So I can get a little more, more room to angle it. So basically, I haven't seen too much videos on YouTube about this. So I thought I'd put it out there and... Maybe somebody can find this useful. So what I did is I compressed the the shock with my floor jack. I compressed the, the lower control arm and compressed the shock to get the lowest point. And then I marked it, which is right here. That's You want it to be able to lay out completely without bottoming out on your shock. That'll, that'll if you do, if you don't, if you don't mark your your line when you bought when you lay out and the shock bottoms out, you're not gonna lay out all the way. It's gonna be put putting a lot of pressure on the shock. So you make your you make your mark, and then I made this bracket right here. I try to do this in one hand. I still gotta take this back off and clean it up, paint it. Alright. Then, of course, this is gonna go in. The shock is gonna go in right here. And it's gonna go in that bracket. Uh, let me see if I can compress that right quick. Alright, here it is. It's just mocked up for now. But it's going to basically look like that. Yeah, so basically, a lot of the stuff, like this stud right here, didn't come with the shock. I snagged these from another job I'd done a couple years back. And it came with some other shocks. I don't remember what year model. But the ones on the car were still good, so I saved them. And come in handy for this one right here. But this one right here, this bracket, is just a piece of angle iron. And then I welded the top piece right here. And, of course, put the, uh, the rest of it goes on like so. And you tighten it down. And once, once you air it out, it'll compress. And this will, this will uh, compress all the way up. Once I tighten up, it'll line up. It'll compress all the way up, and it'll lay out no no problems. All right, so let me know what you guys think. If this was uh, any help for you or or not, but this is what I did. All right. I'll uh I'll do do another video once I'm done with it and have the final product.